Hey everybody. I uh, was walking on along a ridge uh, a couple nights ago and it was near dark. The grass, there was grass on the hill and I, I looked over and I saw a skunk and uh, it wasn't a big deal. He Skunks, boy, they don't pay attention to anything. But I, so I picked up a stick and I threw it its direction and of course it flared its tail up and uh, they're beautiful little animals, not something I ever want to be close to. Um, when I was in high school, I, I was working for a farmer, and our job was to clean this ditch. It was about a half mile long, and I was working with two other guys my age. So we had shovels, and we were cleaning out the leaves and the dirt and just working this ditch down uh, along a river in the trees. It was, it was a really cool place. So we scared up a skunk. And uh, no big deal, but the skunk went into a culvert, so a big pipe that went under this old road. Skunk went under there, and the two guys I was with, Willie and Craig, they were just being boys, and they started throwing rocks down either side of that culvert. And I don't know what it was, if it was because it was in a pipe or, or what, but when that thing sprayed, it was intense it made me sick. I had to like leave. I had to go and work on another part of the ditch. I could not believe the overpowering smell that came from that skunk. Um, you know, when you're driving down the road and you hear, or you, you, you smell the skunk, it's like, oh, not a big deal. It's kind of a natural smell. But man, when they spray, it is, it is so bad. And so that kind of uh, I always remembered that, and boy, I, I never wanted to have anything to do with being sprayed by a skunk. I just knew I would be sick. Um, that same skunk I saw the other night, a couple years ago, I saw one in the exact same place. It was a little bit darker, and I was coming down, I was elk hunting, I was coming down off the mountain, and uh, I thought it was a grouse. I looked over in the grass, I could see it over there, and so I had my bow, and I was kind of sneaking over to it, and I got close, and man, that thing flared that tail up and I ran, uh, literally running across that hillside. Like I don't want to have anything to do with being sprayed by a skunk. Um, probably the worst or the closest time I ever got, every time I got closest to being sprayed was, uh, it was many years ago, I was working, uh, it was in the summertime and a friend and I were building a cabin and so I would stay up there in the evening. I would stay the nights there during the week in a campground. It was summertime, it was nice and warm, and often I didn't even put up a tent. One night it did rain pretty good, and so I had to scurry into my pickup, get all my bedding into my pickup, because I just, what I would do is I just lay a tarp out on the ground and my sleeping pad and then my sleeping bag. And it was just, just beautiful down by the river in this little campground. <clears throat> so, one night, uh, I, I woke up, it was very early in the morning, say four or five o'clock in the morning, I woke up to the sound of raindrops on the tarp that I was laying on top of. And the tarp wasn't much bigger than, than my, my bedroll. And I thought, okay, it's raining again, I'm gonna have to get into my pickup, and then the rain quit. So I rolled over onto my back and I, I looked up into the sky, and you know how you're groggy in the morning, you, it's hard to, think straight. I, I remember laying there with my eyes open and looking at the stars and I thought, well, how can it rain if there's stars in the sky? And I thought that was kind of strange. So I thought, well, what was that noise I heard? So I rolled over onto my stomach and I looked underneath my pickup, it wasn't very far away, a few feet away, and there's a cat underneath my pickup. pickup. I can just see it in the dark. I thought, oh, there's a cat there. And so then I got up on my elbows like this to look at it, and that movement right there spooked the the skunk. It was not a cat, it was a skunk. And that thing came, flared its tail, and it was only about 15 feet away from me, and it came charging back toward me, like they do. They run backwards with their tail up. And uh, I was in a mummy bag. A mummy bag is a really tight sleeping bag that zips like clear up around your face. and. I was, I was, so I was tight in there. And sometimes when you're in a mummy bag, you wonder, man, can I get out of this thing? And so I'm sitting there like this. Let me tell you what, if a skunk is charging you from that close, 
getting out of a mummy bag is no big deal. I, uh, I don't even remember getting out. All I remember is I was standing back at the creek looking at my sleeping bag. The skunk was standing right next to it and uh, the, my bedding had gone everywhere. I just like exploded out of there and uh, the skunk was standing right next to it and I thought, man, please don't spray my sleeping bag. I would have to throw it away. And I thought if it sprayed me, uh, I, I'd have to go home. There's no way the guys on the job site would want me to be around and I couldn't stand myself either. And I knew I'd be sick. So uh, finally that skunk walked away. But I realized later what woke me up was not raindrops on the tarp, but the sound of the skunk's claws walking on the tarp that I was sleeping on right by my head. It had to have walked within two or three feet from my head as it walked across that tarp while I was sleeping. Uh, so that was a close call. I've never been sprayed. Don't want to be sprayed. Pretty sure it would, it would ruin my week if I did. So there you have it. Thanks everybody.